When your home gas is transported by sea, it is liquid and is calculated in cubic meter. But when it's traded in the global market, it's traded as energy and it's calculated in MMBTU. Complicated? It won't be at the end of this video. Hi friends, if you are new here, I'm Ships Captain and I'm back with another gas or LNG video. So this is the export terminal. This is the ship that carries the gas and this is the receiving terminal. As a captain of gas carrier or LNG ship, when dealing with the quantity, we deal in cubic meter. So how much LNG I've loaded and how much LNG I've discharged. But between the owners of this gas or traders, they don't deal in cubic meter. They deal in MMBTU. Okay, maybe they will request 1 million metric ton per year. By the way, 1 metric ton equal 1 cubic meter times the density, which is approximately 0.45. So whatever ship's volume, just divide by 2 to have the approximate quantity in metric ton. So the buyer requests this amount of LNG in ton to be delivered. But when they pay, they don't pay by ton delivered. They pay for the equivalent in energy. Natural gas is not oil or any other commodity that have almost same specification all over the world. The LNG, which is mainly methane, its composition varies from terminal to terminal. Terminal A, its methane content is 85% and terminal B is 95%. Before going further and explain how this energy is calculated, let me know in the comment section below if you are interested to know how the quantity loaded or discharged is measured on board LNG ships because this subject only requires a full dedicated video. Now let's see how the LNG composition looks like because some of the components they don't even burn. The primary component of LNG is methane. Methane makes up about 85-95% to 95 of LNG is the simplest hydrocarbon and is the main ingredient that gives natural gas its energy content. Apart from methane, LNG contains small amounts of other hydrocarbons and gas. Let's take a look at the most common ones. First, we have ethane, which makes up about 5-10% to of LNG. Ethane is slightly more complex than methane. It's often used in production of ethylene, a key ingredient in plastics. Next, we have propane and butane. These are often used as fuels themselves. Think propane tanks for your barbecue or butane lighters. In LNG, they make up around 1-3% to each. Lastly, there is a small amount of nitrogen, usually less than 1%. Nitrogen doesn't burn, so it doesn't contribute to the energy content, but it's naturally present in natural gas. In this table, we can see the different components and we'll focus only on this row. The gross heating value in kilojoule per kilogram. A metric unit of measure used to describe the amount of heat released on combustion of 1 kg. So methane delivers more energy than the other components, whereas N2 does not even burn. So the more methane you have in your LNG composition, the more energy you benefit from it. So as buyer of natural gas or LNG, you look for terminals with higher percentage of methane. But in reality, it doesn't work like this in LNG trading. In this table, let's compare some export to LNG terminals and their LNG composition. If LNG is traded in quantity, all buyers will send their ships queuing in Kine in Alaska for its LNG pure methane. This terminal is mothballed, not operational for the time being. As I said, all buyers would prefer this terminal LNG and no one will load from Erzu or Das Island because they have less methane percentage. But this is not the case. The LNG is sold as energy. The 1 cubic meter LNG in Kine is expensive than 1 cubic meter in Erzu or Das Island. In the world of LNG trading, you will often hear the term MMBTU. But what does it mean? MMBTU stands for Million British Thermal Unit. It's a unit of measurement used to quantify energy content. 1 BTU is quantity of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 pound of liquid water by 1 degree Fahrenheit. So MMBTU equals 1 million BTUs. This unit is crucial because it allows buyers and sellers to trade LNG based on its energy content rather than its volume or weight. LNG is traded globally and using a standard unit like MMBTU ensures everyone is on the same page. It helps standardize contracts and pricing, making it easier for countries and companies to buy and sell LNG. Since the energy content of natural gas can vary depending on its source, trading in MMBTU ensures that transactions are fair and based on the actual energy delivered. Natural gas or LNG prices are often quoted in terms of dollars per MMBTU. This pricing can fluctuate based on supply and demand, geopolitical factors and market conditions. For instance, a contract may state that LNG is sold at $12 per MMBTU, which is today's price. If a buyer purchased 3 million MMBTU, which is an average volume of 130,000 cubic meter, the total cost would be 36 million US dollar. LNG is traded on several major markets, including North America, Europe, and Asia. Each of these markets has its own dynamics and pricing mechanism. In the USA, the Henry Hub is key pricing point for natural gas and is often used as benchmark for LNG price. In Asia, Japan Korea Marker or JKM is widely used benchmark for sport LNG prices. 
This reflects the high demand for LNG in these countries. Now let's look at the formula for calculating MMBTU. The basic formula is MMBTU equal volume times energy density per 1 million. Let's break down each component of this formula. Step 1. Determine the volume of LNG in cubic meters. This is the amount of LNG you have or are dealing with. For example, let's say we have 100 cubic meters of LNG. Energy density can vary based on the composition of natural gas, but a typical value is about 21,500 BTU per cubic meter. So if you apply the value to the formula using our example, MMBTU equal 100 cubic meter times 21,500 BTU per 1 million. The result is MMBTU equal 2.15. So 100 cubic meter of LNG would equal 2.15 MMBTU, and this is rough calculation. If you want to know more about why your gas is transported in liquid form, you may check out this video. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.